All right, uh, your boy Biscuits from Heaven back with another video. And this one is not going to be face cam because I simply uh, do not want to do face cam right now. But I do want to do this video, and I believe I'm a couple of days late. Uh, I think I told myself to write is the dates down i just didn't so uh you know we're here now so <laughs> chapter 133 132 was simply amazing and i don't know you know i i, I look back on the the obviously the main point from it and my my thought process is this was great uh but are we actually starting like bang 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 action or are we just kind of lounging around again because we if you remember and i mean obviously they're not comparable but had it's died about i say i want to say three four months ago now uh, about four months ago now and maybe three and it was a while before we got more action you know so is he gonna I, i'm just interested in this from a uh you know just a creative standpoint is he gonna keep on spacing out these deaths and then like at the end, we just get, like, maybe one or two big ones, or are we just going to have, like, a glut of deaths every chapter from now? And kind of, like, I feel like I feel like uh, my boy Isayama is more of the blue balls type where he gives you, like, let's say, let's say Gabby dies uh, this chapter, and then, like, who else isn't too relevant? Connie gets, like, stabbed or some shit like that. He gives you those, and, like, let's say, I don't know, next chapter, um... It can't be Rainer, that's not realistic. But let's say John, um, Ozumbito, and Mikasa, like, gets impaled. Just action, 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 then blue balls. Next three chapters, nothing happens. That's just his style. I think that's what he's given us um, to this point. But we'll just go ahead and go through it. If I had to guess who's going to die right here in this chapter, and I assume that nobody will, but if somebody was going to, I would... I don't think it's going to be a Titan because I think they want the Titans versus Aaron matchup. I can't see John. I feel like I feel like Peak is going to be get, get fucked up pretty soon. Even though Peak has no relevance to Hanj or no, you know, connection. I feel like it'd be her. I, I, the Black Dude is definitely going to die at some point. Like, I think whenever they get to where they got to get to, I think the Black Dude is going to die. I forgot his name, but he's definitely set up. You know, it's Japan. They, they, Japan kills all the Black people and he's usually pretty, pretty uh, quickly. All right, so the fuel, yes, we're only able to fill it halfway. We'll be able to get to Port Salta. I will get us there no matter what. That's not how that works. Uh, <laughs> and see, the thing is, man, it's amazing how many, how many people have more balls than arm. And we literally just get to chapter after chapter and it's just like, oh, yeah, X character uh, is has more testicular, testicular fortitude than arm. And it's just like every... Every chapter, I mean, I don't, he's such a pathetic character. This dude's going to be the end-all character that whatever the solution is to this problem, which is Aaron, is going to come down to Armin. He just sucks, man. You have Levi, a goaded character. You have, um, you know, Rainer who has history with Aaron. You have Annie who, you know, kind of very conv convoluted character, but that that's what makes her appealing. Uh, you have all these guys. I mean, Mikasa sucks too, but, you know, Mikasa, she, she's been fucked over more than Aaron. But it's gonna come all the way down to Armin. I just don't like that, man. Onion Capone. Onion Capone. That's, I'm gonna try to get that right going forward. Onion I don't just call him the black dude. Onion Capone. Shall we discuss our plan? Alright. Here's a good picture of Aaron's Titan from up here. Okay. To Mika, <laughs> I, Mika says like soccer at a level. Like if if Isayama doesn't give her some kind of validation, I think she's finishing as just a cool soccer. That's her trajectory. I believe Isayama will give her some kind of redemption. But right now, she's just a cool soccer. That's all she is right now. That's what she looks like every time you see her in any given panel. And she, I guarantee you she pulls uh, a Sakura uh, 5 Kage Summit where she tries to pump fake kill him. And then she doesn't. I guarantee you that's what happens. I'm, I'm putting my right thumb toe on it. 
And that's my functional thumb toe. I'm putting it on it that she pulls a soccer of five Kage Valley, uh, five Kage Summit arc where she fakes like she's gonna kill him, and then Aaron like is about to kill her, and then Arm has to come through and save Mikasa. I guarantee you. Okay, Aaron, okay, there, I'm gonna do Zeke. If we can kill Zeke first, do, do we don't even know where Zeke is at? Okay, I was about to say, we just need to find that dog shit is hiding a Titan. I swear I will kill you. I will kill you with my power. Levi the goat. <laughs> Le Levi, st Levi still on Zeke head. <laughs> it's funny that none of them like know like that Zeke is probably on their side of this very moment. But I don't think Levi's gonna go for it even if Levi if Zeke tried to go for a kind of peaceful uh, truce. Yeah, we get more, you know, of all this shit. Yeah, I, I did this, that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the the, the uh, rallying cry. Ugh. <laughs> just like Rainer has feel. Uh, <laughs> Rainer doesn't have feelings. <laughs> Rainer had like one flashback because of this. <laughs> that was it. Oh wait, I'm thinking about Bert Holt. Rainer was the one that like kept on repressing things and like wouldn't. I was thinking about Bert Holt. Rainer kept on repressing shit, if I remember correctly. Like he would repress it with like a different personality. That was Rainer because well, Rainer was very, very saddened about his actions. I, I was thinking about that was Bert Holt. And he's still alive, by the way. Andy isn't dead. I don't know why he said it like that. I mean, he did kind of double cross Andy in a way, but not particularly. Rainer's gonna kill himself, isn't he? To try to stop Aaron. I can't continue. Also, kill to save others. Other things have been out of the way. I think I understand Aaron. Maybe Aaron wants to stop him. Oh shit! Wait, he can stop their Titan powers? Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> it's, wait, I don't understand. How? What's the play here? And he still needs to turn on issues. Why are we just talking about the news and he just was like, yeah, I don't So he wants it to. He, I, so are they saying, like, he wants. Okay, so he wants to kill, right? He wants to do the rumbling, but at the same time, he wants somebody to kill him because of his, his sins? Is that what I'm guess, guessing? Now he might want to pass on the founder. If he could, he would want it all to end. By someone. Oh shit! <laughs> and they go to paths. Okay, they might be onto something. Oh shit! No one will touch paradise for centuries after this. You've shown enough terror and destruction. We can sign neutrality because of this. Almost a <laughs> Fucking pussy ass Armin. <laughs> what the smoke Armin? Stop me a bitch. <laughs> We're at fault here. We drove Aaron to this end. Yeah, he's the rest of the, he's on Murph, honestly. What are they talking about? Nah, that Aaron Aaron let Sasha die. Fuck that dude. He could have saw Aaron saw that coming. Like Aaron saw the entire point. He saw Sasha die. All of that shit he saw he saw happen. Aaron saw this moment coming. This dude has the damn infinite Sukiyomi. Fucking okay, Mikasa. A little bit uh, we're about to get a grandstanding speech here. I want to share your burden. I committed the same crimes as you, so please stop ignoring us. Is she gonna break down crying? So please come back. That's a soccer moment right there. Yeah, Aaron, I'm gonna kick your ass if you don't stop now. Let Levi get the one on one with Aaron. Please give me that. They even had fucking Levi show emotion. Holy shit. I can't stop the rumbling. I can't gamble Paradis's future. I'm gonna keep moving forwards. What a pussy. I mean, not really, that's not really a pussy move. I mean, that's that's what he set up, but that's just the word that's in the back of my head. Is this going to be a mirror? Oh, is that Aaron? There. <laughs> that's going to be an interesting scene. It's going to be an interesting scene in the anime. They're chasing fool's gold, huh? <laughs> Mikasa. Dude's like father from uh, FMA Brotherhood. Like the, the primordial version of father that's in the, uh, the truth gate. He's gonna cut him off here, isn't he? I took the world's freedom to achieve my own, but I won't steal yours. You are free. So it's giving him a chance to fuck him up. 
He feels that it's fair to give him a chance to fuck him up is what I'm, I'm gathering from this. Your freedom to save the world, my freedom to keep moving forward. If neither steps down, we would collide. Is that a mirror? There is only the option to fight. Ah, shit. Fucking creepy pasta looking asses. And there is no need to talk. The only way to stop me is by ending my life. Let's go! <laughs> Yo, Aaron's a fucking badass, dog. Holy shit. <laughs> Aaron gave them niggas the ones. <laughs> I think I was right. Is, is, it, is it over? Yeah. Because we can't bargain with now. I knew Mikasa was going to do it. You can't be a pussy anymore, Mikasa. You gotta give him the you gotta give him the ones. We arrived with Caesar ruined a fruit a few days and here's the Mikasa turns to the one. I thought he's ruined the one. Yeah. Fucking Andy turns into a titan and just eats a fucking bird or some shit. <laughs> I hope Aaron Zeke and Aaron meet. It's probably no way to talk about slaughter. Yeah, uh Osmondo, you fucked up with that one. Yeah, no doubt. Uh <laughs> Yeah, you gotta blame it on yourself a little bit. I think this is gonna be this is a blame chapter. I think it's called Sinners, and you know it's a. Bl I mean, this isn't like a grandstanding revelation or anything, but this is a very um, regretful chapter. You know, after all the happiness and the joy they thought they had, a little bit of elation, so to speak, they've been brought back down to earth. Well, you faint ear just ignorance about paradise. Time to wash away our sins, but I can't just know my regrets. A future for LD out there, and I can't protect it. I live prioritizing the prosperity of the tribe and the family overall. Strange when I realize it until it's gone that more prof more important than profit and loss is respect for others. Is she gonna flip Annie to not being useless? I imagine that's what's about to happen here. Listen, we knew Annie was gonna be brought back to just go back to Liberia. I mean we knew Liberia was gonna get stomped out. But we knew she wasn't gonna just like not fight. But it's too late. I Gabby and Falco. Miss Annie, I had a dream. Galliards. Zeke dream or memory. Zeke dream or memory. You said the female titan can mimic another titan's power by eating a part of them, right? Wait. When did she say that shit? I don't remember that shit whatsoever. What the f- I didn't even know the female titan had powers. I thought it was just a female. What the f- F? So we just experimented to the hell about one. Are they gonna have- Is he gonna eat- Is she gonna eat Zeke? Jesus. Yeah, Annie is goat. Tell, tell me you wouldn't suck Annie's toes right now. Female or not. Female Titan or not. I, I'd suck Annie's toes regardless. I don't give a f Look at that whack. He's not uh, being horny out here. What you saw is Zeke's memories. I became a Titan from Zeke's spinal fluids. So if she... Are they saying if she ingested Zeke's spinal fluids? So I inherited some of the Beast Titan's trait. Yeah, remember I recall the best of flying above the clouds. And I can do that too. I can feel it. I feel it deep within me. Wait, what? There was a winged beast titan in the past. Yeah, your titan looked like a bird, unlike Mr. Galliard's jaw. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> so, wait, what? What? Are you saying that his Titan, like, the, there's there's previous Titans we didn't know about? And that his Titan is like an evolution of a different version of Galliard's Titan? The Beast Titan is Zeke. So there was a winged Beast Titan, which is different than Zeke's. Or at least Zeke's Titan evolved to what it is now. It went from a bird into what it is now. Your Titan looked a bird on, like, Mr. Galliard's jaw. So him ingesting Zeke's powers. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You said the female Titan can mimic another Titan's power by eating a part of them, right? Wait. All right, let's read through and come back. All right. We could all die of the ship. We can't bring back the slots to it. Okay. This is a different ship than the ship they're on, um, if I'm correct. They, oh, this is a different ship than what where, where they're at on the plane, I believe. This is for assault to other really airships here. We won't know. You Eldian scum. Who's that? Not your math morality. Some team. It's a little bit too much. The girls not hanging. Your family's dying from the one thing. The betrayal of Kingo. What's the importance of this? Oh, this is Liberia families? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Are they, they're not saying the memory that they saw is these guys, like, fucking flying over to the Liberio train. I know they're not saying that. No, I think it's just a, a, something for us to see, you know, us of you. My son is strong, so she's with Colton Run and Paradise. Oh, her child's on the devil, and she won't make it. So that's, that's Annie, uh, what's Annie's last name? Leanheart? That's a Leanheart? We could have been together in our last moments of the once the warrior program. Who is who is she? I don't remember these families. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know it's supposed to be pretty relevant, but I don't remember them whatsoever. Okay, so those are planes. The airships are leaving. Damn it. Okay, there gonna be spare airships. I know we're done for. Hey, that smoke. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, Aaron, please! Oh fuck, Aaron, chill up. Slow down a little bit. They're going to blast us. Oh, is, that the, is that the Marlian fleet? It's a bombing fleet. They're going to blast the Titans of Smithereens from above. I mean, wouldn't the smoke hurt them? And I imagine that our Aaron is going to—it's not going to just let them do that. I would—I would imagine. What is the winged beast? I've—I've I've never heard of that before. I, I don't think I've ever. I think I think that's supposed to be new, but like, I don't even know if I've heard of other titans being alluded to whoa this is from 2017 what the fuck this is from 2017 nobody's talking about the brilliant foreshadowing about the next beast titan just like in the panel when zeke was younger he had that monkey toy i think the beast titan turns you into the form of your spirit and an animal you most align with but the prediction of the flying titan which i didn't know that was a thing i don't remember when there was a flying titan alluded to I think Falco would inherit the beast time to become a wing type. What the fuck? What? How the hell do you guess that? I I, I did I swear I didn't know that there was a fucking a wing flying titan. I didn't know that was a thing. But how the fuck did you even guess Falco would be the like, I don't... What chapter was this that he alluded to? I, apparently, I need, to go, I need to go review the manga. I didn't know that this was was a thing. Okay, so planes. Okay, whatever. We don't have any titans with wings, do we? Okay, so wings. I guess and that's Falco reaching up. To the bird. This is. I don't. I, the part I don't get is this, is that supposed to look like a bird? Is this face supposed to look like a bird? I don't get. I don't get where Galliard's Titan fits into this, but I'm guessing they're saying that he's supposed to have like kind of bird-like features, beak-like features with his mouth. What? Holy shit, Alberfa. <laughs> How did people Where did I miss this at? I didn't even know there were other Titans. I where what have I been What have I been paying attention to? Like have I been missing like I've read like every chapter since um since since um Aaron goes into the cave to try to get Historia and you know they 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 squat him on Rod Rice. I've wa I've I've I think I've read every chapter period. Have I? No, no. I've read every chapter I've read every chapter since season three on. So whatever they're talking about, I must have just completely missed out on. And I will say that a lot of the like the exposition um from the hideout raid to like like, all the exposition before they really, like, fight, like, Aaron and Rainer meet, I pretty much just skimmed through that. So maybe that's where I missed out on. But I don't get this. Connie's mother's always... Don't chat in Falco. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit
administration low dose time serum. Okay. Falco. It's clear that in 113, he felt the effect of Zeke's scream, despite the miracle, minuscule, almost contrived from plot convenience uh, amount of the wine and justice. He didn't even break it. He was listening for this amount of minimal dose. Yeah. The new Ed, Ed, Ed Wing Beast Titan giving the ace in the hole for air combat that will no doubt come with tech defense nations with planes. Keep in mind what I just read here. This is from a year ago. I also remember how we were introduced to Falco looking looking to the airborne Falcon following his mortar blast survival in the Saw the Midis Alliance Fort. Also notice that in a single two season two opening, the Beast Titans running alongside what I assume other previous shifters of the BT in animal form. Of their own personality of choosing. So Zeke will get off one more skin in the proximity of Falco and most likely some wine drinking Jaegerus. After all, Jaegerus mother signs have been slain again by the godlike Levi. There will only be one remaining to feed the broken, barely living body of Zeke to a moment movement impaired and misinformed mindless Falco Titan who was only preserved by a lower than necessary dose of Zeke's spinal. Alright. Let, let, let's do one more thing here. Let's one more thing. I thought the Beast Titan was what Zeke had. Okay, that is the Beast Titan. So they're saying like parts like okay. So let's 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 run through the the female Titan part. I believe what it's saying is that a Titan, a special Titan, can inherit parts of another Titan if he eats them. I think that's not just female time, but just any time period. And I think we've, I mean, I believe that Aaron can, Aaron has used Warhammer Titan aspects before. We saw that. So that, I think that's what it's alluding to with the first part. B, I also believe what it's saying is that the Beast Titan has had different forms. And I, I'm kind of getting this more from the spoilers I just read than anything. Well, not spoilers, but theories. The Beast Titan has had different forms. That's why it's just a beast and not ape titan and i think that it is saying that you basically pick what animal you are closer it's like fucking um like a zodiac sign you pick what animal you fuck with the most or you're just kind of genetically fucked with the most for falco as a, a bird Falcon. I mean, Falco. Fal. I guess that was a little bit heavy hand, I suppose. Um, and then once he ingests it, once he ingests a part of the Beast Titan, he has essentially access to the powers that a Beast Titan will possess. Like, I, I guess what, what what I'm kind of trying to get here is that. Regardless of the Jaw Titan, he just needs Titan powers. He needs special Titan powers. And he has that now. So because he has special Titan powers, he can access part of the Beast Titan. Just like if he, like, if someone put, um, fucking, I don't know, like, Aaron's power into him. If someone did that, then in essence, um... And there, since he were, he would gain that part of the Titan, he would gain Attack Titan powers. This is pretty crazy, though. That that is a game changer. Uh, Porco Gilliard. Um, may have thrown an alley oop of the the year. Uh, that's big. Um, <laughs> that's that's pretty big. Uh, that's, that's fucking huge. As a matter of fact, that really just a game changer overall. Uh, so let me know how y'all felt about this chapter. I um, I think I'm a pretty big fan of this chapter. I think I'm a pretty pretty big fan of this one. This was a 
This was a good one. It's I wasn't feeling it initially. I thought it was kind of just be like, you know, kind of slow play and then let's just see what happens. But um I could fucking search on this damn platform. I won't be able to Is this a search bar? Okay, yeah. Chapter I just want to confirm just my theory here for if I if I if I'm able to. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 133. Maybe if I just hit next a couple of times I can get to 133. Uh Wings of Freedom. I don't know why I can just have, like, just order it by... Ah, oh, fuck me. All right. Chapter 133. You already know I'm talking about AOT. Come on. See what they're talking about up here. I always get in on Reddit. You know, I like to see what Reddit's talking about before I head out for the day. All right. This, this is exactly what I was hoping for. So you're telling me that Falco... Falcon, of the memories of Zeke by ingesting a spinal fluid. Not only that, but he, he's got memories of a beast titan that lived so far in the past. Apparently, this beast titan was far before anything else. Aaron could only get Grisha's memories, not the owls or anything, the tag titans before them. Zeke didn't know the flying beast titan and the Marley and Generals, and therefore the so-called flying beast titan lived way back in the past. Even Galliard only got Emir's memories. Um, you talking about Emir Fritz? Or Emir, Emir, Emir. Did Galliard have Emir's memories? Or did he even have a mere Fritz memories? What was... Wait, what? <laughs> wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Galliard had a mere memories? Near yeah, Falco was not only getting memories of Galliard, it fits in the magic system AOT, but specifically of a flying beast that left far in the past, there's a small amount of Zeke's lives now. Okay. Zeke's a royal blood, so that enhanced Falco's memories. That's fair. Uh, Aaron sent those memories to Falco as he's in any in the battlefield. It's not fair. Um, <laughs> it's not not as fair. Uh, to be honest with you, a first transformation makes it seem like Zeke is purposefully sending Falco the memories as opposed to Falco just randomly getting them. That would be very very fair. Uh, because it does appear that based on what Levi just said, and based on obviously what Falco just said, and based on just the the credentials of of kind of how you close a series out, you generally want to have the big villain that's turned into you know, a lesser villain, but it's still worth naming because of his uh, importance to several characters. In the back of my head, I'm thinking about the Mountain from Game of Thrones. The Mountain was a lesser villain by the point of the ending of that series. It was, depending on how you look at it, either Cersei or, or um, Daenerys, depending on how you look at it. But either way, lesser villain at that point. But because of the importance that he had with um, the Hound, he had to like have his final moment. Levi probably would not matter in the grand scheme of this, aside from what he's sending to Falco currently. But it is going to be important. Honestly, you could probably do this without even having this this be like having Zeke matter. You could probably just say that he got it because of Zeke's final fluid, and you wouldn't even need to bring Zeke back. But they're not going to not have I mean, they have one more opportunity like to milk levi and zeke and they have a chance to flip zeke into being the protagonist against aaron in the same regard they had aaron flip to the antagonist they're not gonna like not use that so yeah um i thought that was good i thought it was, i thought it was really good uh and then having zeke out there still out and about presumably within the same era that he was last time we saw him, which would be within reasonable distance of Historia. Um, I, you know, Historia obviously going to be have a part of this. Historia has royal blood. Zeke has royal blood. That's going to matter. There's no one else who can even stop the rumbling, potentially, other than those two. So, I mean, something to be had there. And yeah, uh... I think it's about time to end this. It's probably about, it's been probably about 30 minutes now, give or take. So I hope y'all enjoyed this chapter. Uh, Alright. Um, fantastic chapter. The Flying Titan reveals the greatest moment in the history of mankind. I cannot think about it without having a massive smile on my face. Millennium Falcon... <laughs> <laughs> means aside, it's such a fantastic character moment for Annie as well. It was, and he was turning point for her. It was. Cannot wait to see them wings in action. 
Are they going to say that Annie also has wings and she's going to go there and save Liberio's uh, last few people? Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> oh, man. This is... Um... Okay, this is a little bit of an ass pull. All right, I think that's fair. It's, it's a little bit of an ass pull. A little, little bit. There's a little bit of an ass pulling going on here. It, it's it, As he's saying here, it's extending powers that were not established. The build a bear shit he said in here, that was not something that I remember her ever saying or alluding to. If, if you can post in these comments right now, if you can post in here right now that this ever happened, that that shit ever occurred, that she was allowed to mimic other titans i mean i know aaron did but aaron had the founding titan at that point that makes kind of some sense she's just a female titan i don't remember a female titan ever having that power and they even specified in the chapter the female titan could do this i don't remember that ever happening i don't remember that ever happening once and i mean zeke would know if it could happen other titans he would have had like he would have had i don't know um he would have just had somebody else eat aaron at some point i imagine he didn't know aaron was aaron until like the like the fourth down right before he's about to just end the game so i mean he could just have somebody eat aaron a long time ago had rainer braun uh rainer and Bertho eat aaron game i mean i don't i don't know that <laughs> uh i don't know about that one that i'm here here's where i'm at i'm 60%, this was a very good chapter. Not 65%, 70%. 70% good chapter, 30% as pool. 30%, and even, like I said earlier, even this is kind of alluding to it. Uh, effectively, that is what caused D&D to half-ass GOT because they want to move on to other things. I think Isayama knows how that affected the story and he's trying to avoid that. I think he's closer to D&D &D and how they fuck just, just kind of threw shit out there and to kind of get to their ending. I think there's some very telling... I've, I've said this in multiple videos. There's a lot of telling signs between this and Game of Thrones Season 7 and 8. We're skipping some, you know, time elements that were very intricate and, and well thought out in previous, you know, seasons. A lot of that's getting skipped right now. Like, it, it's kind of coming... Like, there's a little bit more narrative and progression and, and, and um... Uh, not exploration. Well, exploration was big, but, um... Narration, stuff like that. That's still going on right now to this day. However, a lot of shit's getting skipped over. And a lot of powers and shit's being divvied out. A lot of people are conveniently being in the same place as other people. Kind of be... It's, it's convenient because we skipped the parts of of exploration as position that were there before that stuff uh still has not like taken place that stuff hasn't taken place anymore so be, it, it appears convenient if we did get the connecting you know journeys we wouldn't think it'd be convenient um but as it appears you know convenient we have liberio here we have any and them here and we have we have like <laughs> Essentially, these parties all separated to avoid the rumbling, and they're all going to meet at the same place in the rumbling, give or take. So, something to keep in mind there, I suppose. Um, okay, I'm 65% well-written chapter, 35% as pool. That's where I'm at right now. It's it, it's a split decision, right? It's close to split decision right now, because he definitely made some things happen here that I don't remember happening in this whatsoever. I'm going to link these articles um, in the description. And if I'm doing this on Spotify, I may upload this as a podcast episode. It's very thorough. It's about 40 minutes now, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to also link this there. I hope you enjoy. Peace.